Welcome to this tutorial. I have a confession to make. I just made a beautiful step by step, starting really from nothing, how to build this. And after I realized I recorded the wrong screen, I was recording my face. Well, not the, not the Excel screen, so am I going to do it again? Of course not, I'm far too lazy. But I thought, yeah, at least so, so that I didn't completely waste my time, I'm going to walk you through what I've done and now that it is done. So I'm going to give you everything you need to build this again, but you won't have the pleasure of seeing me suffering doing it myself for a second time. Okay, as usual, we start with the greed. Start with a greed, greed, greed. And I'm not going to do my joke about greed being a good thing, okay? So, uh, team, task name, estimate, percentage done. So, this is where you would put uh, all your data, obviously. The done and outstanding is being calculated. How? By multiplying the estimate by the percentage done. You get the done and the outstanding is the remainder, the balance. That's easy, okay? Okay. Now, before we go into the team here, which, by the way, could be team category, could be absolutely anything, we need to build a table like this. Uh, let's just uh, forget about the estimates actually for the time being. Just build a table where you have your six teams. But if you prefer, you can have something else. You can have a category. You can have anything you like. So if you want to follow exactly my color scheme, I'm just going to uh, walk you through the colors uh, very quickly. So here, this is the lighter standard uh, red. So you go in the red here, if you want to do it, and you select the red. I'm just going to do it somewhere else. You select the red, uh, and then you go under more colors. And this is where you, you can uh, select a lighter red, either using this slide, or you know picking it uh, from here, or you can use the code that I have here. This is... Done. So all the others color. Uh, so this uh, lighter orange is the same. You just select the orange here and you do the same trick to go to lighter or you co uh, copy this code. But uh, all the other colors are taken uh, directly from uh, this screen here. So you if you just take note of all this, I don't want to walk you through again. It might be a bit tedious if you don't want to have the same colors. So just uh, take those in. All right, let's go back to here. Here, I want to be able to select team category or whatever. So you just go under data, data validation, and then you just select the uh, table that you've created here. So I've added one at the, at the end here. So to allow you to select a blank if you want. If you the, no one is allocated, you can select a blank. What else? Now we have to do some uh, conditional formatting already. So you just select all this column here. And then uh, you go under that uh, home uh, conditional formatting here. Uh, something that will make things easier, especially if you have, if you want to change this later on, is you s you name every one of those cells here. So this is what I've done here, just to confuse you. I call this one category one. If I click on the other one, category two. And how do we name those? If you don't know how to do it, you just click on the cell and you input your name here and you press enter twice. And you notice I've not uh, I have name all those from team one to team six i've named them category one to category six so this way you'll be able to change this and the conditional formatting will work as well so let's go back to conditional formatting here manage rules and here yeah, what you need to do i'm just going to show it you for one to check that the bc even the the first cell here is equal to category one you apply the color for category one and guess what you have to do that all the way down to category six yes it's hard yes i know uh, the the font white you don't really have to do it in a conditional formatting instead you can just apply it here bingo so that's it so we've we've done the conditional formatting for this now if you select everything uh, you can apply the standard uh, color, which will be the, the lighter here of the turquoise. And then you just uh, being left with doing a conditional formatting. And conditional formatting, you go under here, formula again. This time you need to lock the colon here, E, because uh, this is what is driving uh, the change of color. We want to have a stronger blue. I suggest you don't go too crazy with a strong blue because there's already enough colors. Uh, it's going to make you feel dizzy. So $E7, which because this is my first 
cell in a colon that is going to be dictating uh, what the color will be. If it's equal to 100%, that means we are done. And therefore, you have a slightly li lighter, darker blue than the one that there is there. Okay, this is done already. Now we just need to do some totals. Something that uh, is useful to do totals is uh, it's actually to name columns. So I've named those columns here. Same principle for cells. You select the column and at the top here, uh, at the top here, you name the column. So I've named this one uh, category just to confuse you again. No, it's not to confuse you, just to tell you that you could use this column for a lot of things. Okay, uh, team one, team two, I have column and categories. This one, I'm going to call it estimate. Select everything put estimate, done, and outstanding. And you will see, you will see, make things easier. Okay, actually, let's see now. Okay, making sure you have all your teams here on the left. Press one, sum if category is equal to, category, that's the one that we've just named, this one here, category is equal to uh, this dollar $K7 here. So make sure that you have dollar $K7, that you do not have category one, because otherwise you won't be able to drag it down in here. And what do we uh, uh, sum? We sum the estimate column here, done. Same for total done, category $K7, done. Outstanding, you guessed it, category $K7, outstanding. So when you look at the last one here, you notice that that has dragged down to K12, but the category and outstanding stay the same. And here, the total tasks, aha, it's a count if instead only two parameters, the category K7. So I'm, I'm not worried about task being completed or not. I just wanted to give an idea of uh, how the tasks are being spread before the work is done. And obviously, this is not always in sync with the estimate itself. You could have two tasks, only two tasks and a lot of work, but here this is not the case. So this is done. Now we have all our totals. We can go into uh, doing this this uh, chart here. So obviously the whole idea is to have to be consistent with the color. So team one in red, team one in red, and here it's the, we should have team one. So let's just uh, make an example. Let's just uh, select this, insert, recommend the chart. I don't think so. That that uh, is not what we want. So we go under all charts here. So what do we do? Pi. And we do a donut here. Two problems with this. The hole is too big and it's not the colors we want. So let's just solve those one by one. First, let's get rid of the legend. Uh, total estimate. Yes, I'm happy with this. I'm just going to put it like this. Uh, okay, let's just right click and just put format data series here. And uh, donut hole size, I'm just going to put 25%. That's That's... That's my choice. Okay, so now uh, we just want to click on the first one here at the top because this should be the red and here you are looking at the same red here. Uh, you look at the red that you had. The second one, and you have to do that all the way around. Second one, this one, third one. So I suggest that you have the, the blues together. Uh, orange and then I should have still the, this one here and then we are left with the light green mm, yes I'm gonna go to the light so I suggest that you keep the blues together the orange together otherwise it could be a bit all over the place um, but that's just a prefer uh, personal preference so we just need to right click on this and just add data labels and for once this is the data labels that we want uh, if you want more information, you can actually put also the category, but I don't, I don't think this is really required. Uh, you go in the format data labels and you add the, uh, the category here, team one, team two, I don't know, up to you. Then you do this. Um, what you can do is you right click and you put save as template because when you want to duplicate this, you duplicate this and you think, Ben, it's easy. And just click on the pie. Ah, 
behave. Uh, so I'll just click on the pie band and I'm just going to move this so it's going to be very easy. Let's have a look. Click on the pie, just move this. But you know what? This is a problem. This is not keeping your color. So how do we do this? Well, a good way to do this is just to save this as a template. So let's have a look again. Save as template. And here you put the name of, of the create the template. You give it a name. Uh, just uh, created before uh, template one two three here and then you go back here and you just want to go under chart design change chart type and then you go under templates and you select the template you have just created template one two three you click it press ok and look it's put the same colors so this is what you have to do but obviously uh, you need to make sure that you save the right one here. I just had didn't have the whole before, but if you just save this one as a template and you apply it, it will be all good. And after here, you're left on your own. You just need to format shape fill. You put no fill. Uh, you remove the border shape outline. You put no outline. Uh, you put that a little bit bigger if you like. You go back here. You just try to increase the size. And then you put all that here. You line them uh, nicely uh, beside each other. And then uh, this is all good. Obviously, if you think this is too overwhelming, you can uh, put some, some gray, I suppose, uh, light gray here. If you think there's too much contrast, uh, personal preference, once again, uh, let's have a look. Uh, let me get rid of all this after and then uh, it's up to you uh, okay so I think uh, I hope that you got something out of this I went a bit fast um, but you should have all the information you need now I think I, I went through every step so even if you have to pause it and hopefully uh, it all makes sense to you so uh, next one I'll do it from scratch uh, I promise okay